Keep it up, keep it up. Good. Excellent, excellent. Hi, I'm Tony Granato, a former NHL player and USA Hockey Olympian. To reach the elite levels of hockey, I was fortunate enough to have some of the best coaches. Today, I'm proud to serve on the board of Positive Coaching Alliance and to join them in developing and supporting the Liberty Mutual Responsible Sports Program. This program seeks to deliver resources, tools, and advice to youth hockey coaches and parents designed to help our children succeed on and off the ice. Over the next few minutes, we'll review some of the principles of responsible coaching and give you tips on how to bring this important philosophy to your coaching and your athletes. Hi, I'm Tina Sire, Associate Director at Positive Coaching Alliance. I've applied responsible coaching techniques in various sports at the high school, college, and Olympic development levels. Today, I'll share with you what we mean by responsible coaching, including three major principles, and you'll see how a youth coach applies those principles with his U16 team. You may be wondering what we mean by responsible coaching. I'll start by explaining what a responsible coach is not. A responsible coach is not soft, is not a source of unearned praise, and is not satisfied with everyone just having fun. Responsible coaching means that you compete fiercely to win games while always placing your athletes' safety and their education in life lessons and character development first. Now that you know what we mean by responsible coaching, let's look at the first major principle, redefining winner. Everyone knows that the winner in an ice hockey game is the team that scores the most goals. But there's an expanded definition of winning that is important to responsible coaches, and that is mastery of the sport. Defining winner in terms of mastering the sport lets you define success based on things your players can control, such as effort, learning, and the way they respond to mistakes. To remember the principle of mastery, we suggest you use the acronym ELM for effort, learning, and mistakes. Tell your players that as long as they give full effort, learn as much as they can, and bounce back from mistakes, they'll be winners in hockey and in life. To reinforce this, we suggest using targeted symbolic rewards. This may sound complicated, but what this really means is finding creative ways to publicly reward actions by your players that you would like to see their teammates repeat. Have a look at how this youth coach uses targeted symbolic rewards with his players. Every practice we come and we talk about Focus, dedication, and effort. Focus in the games, dedication to what you bring to the game. Hard work. At the end of the day, we got an award for you. It's called the Hard Hat Award. It's to that player who goes out there and gives it all. Works hard, skates hard, checks hard, shoots hard, pass hard. It's up to you, what you want to bring to the game. At the end of practice, I'm going to award the Hard Hat Award to the player that I think demonstrates that effort, that focus, that dedication, that hard work. You know, you're going to score goals when you drive hard to net, right, guys? Here you go, Braden. Hard hits, Braden. Hard hat award. Here you go. Good. You want that hard hat, Mac? Keep going. Keep going, Mac. Now that's a hard hat save. Keep it up. Keep it up. Keep it up. Good. Trust me, a lot of you guys earn this award. And, and you're going to get a chance to earn it week in and week out. But today, i got to award the hard hat for this week to Chris Arano. Chris, Chris just all the way through. So Chris, Chris, you get the hard hat for the week. OK, you got to carry yes. it. you got to bring it to the games. you got to bring it to practice. you got to put it in your stall. It's yours to carry for the week. And next week, you'll give it up to another player, OK? Good job. Let's give Chris a hand. Excellent job. All right, Chris. The second major principle of responsible coaching is filling emotional tanks. A person's emotional tank is like a car's gas tank. When it's full, we can go anywhere we want to. When it's empty, we can't go at all. As we said at the beginning, a responsible coach is not a source of unearned praise. That's why it's critical that when you fill your players' emotional tanks, you use truthful and specific praise. In fact, players respond best to a ratio of five specific truthful praises to every one piece of specific constructive criticism. One way to keep your players' tanks full 
is by pairing them up at the start of practice. Let them know they're responsible for each other's tanks during practice. Then check in with them at the end of practice to see how they did. Let's watch how our youth coach does this with his team. What we're going to do today is we're going to pair you up. You're going to ha have a partner that you're going to be responsible to and they're going to be responsible to, to you. If your partner does something great, you're going to want to really encourage them to keep up the good work. And if they, you know, having a problem, you know, come back and really lift them up, pick them up. Okay, so keep that in mind and throughout practice, remember to, to look for those things and to work with your partner. Okay, Vaughn, hard hit, bud. Hard hit. Hard hit, Vaughn. Good. Oh, there's a goal. Oh, Tommy, good work. Oh, almost gets there. Way to go, Tommy. Okay, let's go. Let's go. I know, nice passing. I like this game too. <laughs> Thank you. I know, you're doing good on D. Yeah, yeah, D to D. You're doing very well. I think you did a real good job out there supporting each other, picking each other up when you needed to. So we're going to go around the room now, and, and, and I just want to get your, your feedback. So let's start over here. Okay, Michael, what did Kenny do well? Uh, Kenny made good passes in their zone and skated hard. Good. And Kenny, what, what do you think? Uh, um, Michael did a good job like going to the outside and going fast on the one-on-ones. And he also like made um, some good passes going into the zone on the power play. Excellent. Now let's hear Coach Granado's take on giving feedback to players. They have to feel good about themselves and they have to feel good about where your team's going for them to be the best. And the morale is the biggest thing. You want to create an environment where the guys enjoy coming to the rink every single day. They understand what the big picture is. They understand what the day-to-day -day activity is and trying to get better as a player and trying to get better as a team. Responsible coaches' last major principle is conducting themselves by a code, which Positive Coaching Alliance calls honoring the game. To help players remember the elements of honoring the game, we use another acronym, ROOTS, which stands for respecting rules, opponents, officials, teammates, and self. This aspect of responsible coaching lets you lead by example. When your players and their parents see you keep your temper in check on a questionable call by a referee, they're likely to follow your lead. Let's watch as our youth coach introduces the concept of honoring the game to his players. So you got R-O-O-T-S, Roots, honoring the game. Which one do you guys think is the hardest to deal with in the game of hockey? Which one of those do you think is the hardest? Anybody? Okay, hold on, hold on. I've heard officials. Sean, what about officials? Uh, well, when the refs are having you know, a bad game and they're calling penalties for us, on us, all the time, you know, it just gets annoying. You know, if we're trying to play hard, trying to play our game, but we're getting a penalty every single time, then it's hard to actually play and win. Right? Yeah. But you have to honor the game and respect those yeah. officials, don't we? Yeah. Right. Now let's hear from Coach Granado about how honoring the game works in his world. The one tradition that the NHL has that I, that I like and I respect and I think the fans respect is the handshaking following the uh, playoff defeats and victories. And, and it's tough. Sometimes you, you lose and your season's over and you have to go in line and, and shake the other opponent's hand. But, but I think the respect you have for, for everybody in our league and for your opponents, uh, it's a great way of showing it. Uh, and, and it's a very classy and, and a thing that I think is, is uh, important in the NHL, and I like it. Now you understand the three major principles of responsible coaching. Redefining winner, filling the emotional tank, and honoring the game. We hope you remember them and use them even in the heat of the moment, with a close game on the line. It won't always be easy, but it will always be worth it. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Good. To learn more about the Liberty Mutual Responsible Sports Program, log on to responsiblesports.com and join the Responsible Sports Movement.